Hey there, Hilo here, and thank you so much for clicking on the video. Y'all continue to blow my mind, man. I didn't even upload the new love single video yet, and I already reached 40 subscribers, man. 40 subscribers, that's a lot. At this rate, I might have to start thinking about what I'm gonna do for 100 subscribers, you feel me? Because I'm trying to do something special. I don't really have any ideas yet, but if you got some, just leave it down in the comments. I'll read some, and like, if there's a really good idea, I'll probably do that, you know? Also, a happy holidays to everybody watching. If you're watching this on Christmas Day, if this video drops on Christmas, Christmas day man it's it's all right if you don't watch it immediately bro go go spend time with family go you know be with people celebrate the holiday properly you feel me and if this doesn't come out before christmas then uh happy new year's in all seriousness though i do want to thank everybody who watched even just one video and i want to say i i really appreciate the support because i i couldn't have had this good of a year without you guys and like yeah i know i'm not hitting crazy million numbers but hey for me for me 40 subscribers is really fucking good especially when i was gone for like a month so let's not waste any more time we got stratosphere by duster which was recommended to us by a viewer wizzy cat thank you so much for leaving the suggestion and i appreciate you no idea what this artist or album's about, so we're just gonna have to see for ourselves. So without further ado, let's get right into Duster's Stratosphere. All right, so track one is titled Moon Age. Mm. Okay. All right. Kinda of cool. I'm excited to see where the next song picks up on this. Alright, track number two, we got Heading for the Door. It's really nice on the ears. beat switch dude i'm so used to listening to songs that are like eight nine minutes long and like usually those songs breeze through but i've already felt like i've been listening to this for like five minutes and it's only been two minutes that's crazy Pretty cool second track. All right, all right. So this album probably won't get me on my toes dancing and stuff, but that's that's fine. As long as it can get me vibing hard, y'all already know I'm all about that too. All right, track number three, we got Gold Dust. All right, I like this beat. This is a nice beat. The guitar is absolutely beautiful. I just want to say, like, Three for three so far. Is it just instrumental? And I think it's just instrumental. I mean, I'm kind of not complaining though. It's, it, it go a little hard. All right, it's a nice little ending loop. It's pretty cool, pretty sick. All right, so I'm pretty sure this next song is gonna have some lyrics because it's five minutes long. Track number four, Topical Solution. I can't hear him. It's speaking way too quiet, dog. Raise your voice, homie. I'll never do that thing when you're playing video games, like when you're trying to like avoid something, you lean with your controller. But right now, I'm kind of like leaning with my ear to see if I can hear him better. You feel me? got much to say about this song like it's definitely vibey i can see myself playing this in the middle of a field but that's pretty much about it i wouldn't really see myself listening to this while like gaming or doing pretty much anything else i don't know about that one it's, it's kind of too too long i like the other three songs because they were kind of quick and sweet you know like they got their ideas out of the way and like they didn't overstay their welcome that song was five minutes long like it kind of didn't do anything new throughout the entire song you feel me but this next song is less than two minutes long so let's see what track number five docking the pod has in store for us all right now, this is a lot more energetic, and I fuck with this a lot more than the other song. Yeah. 
Now you see that? Quick and sweet. I fucking like this. I really like this. All right, track number six, we got the landing. I can finally hear my guy, let's go. Alright, this one this one's hidden a little bit. This one's actually hidden. So far, The Landing is my favorite song off of this album. All right, track number seven, we got Echo, comma, Bravo. Okay, 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 okay. All right, all right, we're going somewhere. Okay. Alright, actually, I really like this song. I actually really do, which is surprising, man. Alright, alright, that was a better long song than Topical Solution, so I fuck with it. I do. Alright, track number eight is Constellations. Let's see where this goes. I don't know about this album so far. Cause like, yeah, it, it has its moments where it's definitely cool, but like, it's too slow for my taste, you feel me? Like, I just feel like these songs are kinda, kinda one long song that's just endlessly going. Like, have y'all ever heard Ultraviolence from start to finish for the first time? That shit felt so dragged out for no reason whatsoever. But then like the more you listen to it, the more the songs start to like actually differentiate from one another. But like the first listening experience for Ultraviolence, it was so ass, so ass. And like this is nowhere near as bad as Ultraviolence first listening experience, but like, I don't know. I'm not really feeling it too much. Track number nine, we got Queen of Hearts. Holy shit, it's speeding up. Thank the Lord. Bro, bro, why would you slow down, bro? Like, it was fine, faster. Nah, this song is making me angry. This song has made me very angry. I would probably consider that a not good song. I don't want to listen to that again. All right, track number 10, two-way radio. It's only 20 seconds long, so it's probably just an interlude. What? Okay, track number 11, we have Inside Out. I know I'm like a heavy ass advocator for all about the vibe when it comes to music, but this is like too reliant on the vibe, you feel me? Like there's nothing really beyond the atmosphere that's been created in this album. It's just a cool atmosphere and that's about it. A little bit of a better song, but I don't know. I'm still feeling kind of iffy on the album. This next song seven minutes long track number 12 stratosphere now it's the title track and usually the title tracks are good so please please
Y'all hear that in the background? The drums? That's kind of cool. Too long. It's too long, bro. It's too fucking long. I think I'm gonna have to stress this way more than I do in every other video, but this is just my opinion. If you like this album, that is perfectly okay. I'm glad for you if you like this album because you can find enjoyment in something that I can't. But me personally, bro, this is this is not it at all. I, I vibed with two songs, which was The Landing and Echo Bravo. But other than that, every other song has just been like a marathon of, of just pain, bro. Like I'm just I'm just trying to finish this song. If this song was shorter, like it would be good because it has a cool idea, but it's just dragged on for so long that I don't vibe with it at all after like two minutes. That's just me though. Once again, if you like this, that's fucking tight and good for you. All right, song's over, finally. All right, track number 13, we got Read to Hillsborough. I think I said that right, I'm not really sure. Okay. We got some energy behind it. Hopefully we can keep it. Okay, the energy was brought down as usual, but it's not too slow to the point where I don't think I, I don't like it. Like this is still cool, as long as it, you know, it does like that thing where it brings the energy down and then it picks it back up in like a hook or something. If they do something like that, I think that's tight. Thank you. Thank you. They did exactly what I was talking about. You know what? I think I'd go so far as to say I like this song. Yes, yes, this song is surprisingly valid. I I like this. I, I really like this. You know what? I think this one gets a round of applause. Alright, track number 14, we got Shadows of Plains. I wonder if this is one of those albums where you have to be in a specific mood to truly understand it. Like, motherfucking Speeding Bullet to Heaven by Kid Cudi. When you're in any mood besides angry or frustrated, that shit is so bad. It is the worst thing ever. But when you're really in that mood of like hatred, angry, like just feel full on like rage mode, it is, it's beautiful. It's a work of art. Shit, I love it so much that I went ahead and went out and bought the thing, man. But like, even I can admit when I'm in a happy mood, that thing is some two pack of ass. So I wonder if this album is kind of similar in which like, I have to be in a specific mood to be able to truly like vibe with it. If so, let me know in the comments. Maybe I'll try listening to it when I hit that mood. You, you feel me? Cause right, it's not really doing it right now. And the only reason I'm still going all the way is because I'm, I'm, I'm one of those people who watch reaction videos and like sometimes I look forward to seeing my favorite song be reacted to, but then the reactor didn't like like the previous nine songs and my song is number 10. And then sometimes they just end the video at number nine and I'm just like, man, it was about to get good though. I don't really know what that tangent was, but let's get back to the music. Track number 15, we got Earth, Moon, Transit. And it is being maintained. I like this. I like this. Now, that, that song was a little bit better, but I feel like. Although the energy was maintained, it didn't really do anything with it, if you feel me. All right, nearing the end, we got track number 16, The Twins slash Romantica.
<laughs> Alright, the final track on this thing, track number 17, we got Sideria. I think that's how you say it, I'm not really sure. Hmm. Sounds different, it sounds different. Every time I react to an album, bruh. I always gotta make me scared to go outside. Okay. Okay. Hold up. Hold up, I'm interested, I'm interested. It's not gonna do anything with it, huh? It's just gonna stay like this for the rest of the song. Hold up, am I wrong? Am I wrong? Where you going with this? Oh, wait, never mind, the song's about to end. So some final thoughts on Stratosphere by Duster. I already know this is gonna be my most disliked video because this is the first time I feel like I've truly reacted like I didn't like the album. And to be fair, I kinda don't like it. Like it definitely had his moments, don't get me wrong. Not everything on this was garbage. Heck, honestly, I wouldn't call a single song on here garbage. However, I would say it's painfully average. Every single song had one of two problems. One, it started off really strong with some strong energy, but it didn't maintain it for the rest of the song, meaning like it dragged on for too long. Or two, I feel that the song just didn't go anywhere. It built up an idea and it just didn't do anything with that idea and it didn't switch up. It just did that same thing over and over again until the song was over. Now there were a couple of highlights, I will admit, a couple of highlights. We had Reed to Hillsborough, Echo Bravo, and The Landing. If I remember correctly, Earth Moon Transit wasn't half bad either. See, Dario was kind of cool for what it was, I guess. But other than that, I can't really say I had like a definitive wow moment. But other than that, I can't really say any of the other songs are really that goaded. Now for all you Duster fans, I'm sorry I pissed you off because I know I did. You were probably expecting me to vibe the fuck out of this album, but instead I'm just kind of shitting on it. Like I said before, if you like this album, that's perfectly okay. If you can find something good out of something I don't find to be that good, that's amazing. That's perfect. It's okay for me to not like every single thing I listen to. Would I recommend this to anybody? Not anyone I know, and I wouldn't recommend this to any type of fan. Like I I wouldn't really recommend songs I don't like. Maybe listen to the three songs that I really liked, but other than that, I, I can't say much about this thing. Hopefully though, I'm correct about my ultra violence theory where this album just sounds like ass on the first listen, but on the next couple of listens, it starts to differentiate itself. But as of right now, this album's a miss. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. If you wanna see more content like this, make sure to leave a like and hit the subscribe button down below. While you're down there, leave a comment letting me know what album you want me to react to. Or a single, could be either. Make sure to hit the notification bell to be notified for when I upload so you can be early. And yeah, this was Duster's Stratosphere, painfully average, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace!